We're gonna let that Vor finish. We're gonna drop these two. So before we do anything else, we need to basically buy up a land army. Just because. So centaurs are what we got. Centaurs are what we're gonna have to work with. Um so they're cavalry, meaning they want to move and then strike. So and they wanna generally be going first. What do they have? Actually, let's see what they got in here. Infantry. Range. Okay, so they have mostly infantry. Um. So we want infantry slayer. Get it. Or range slayer. Okay, I guess we're going with, uh. We got 15, 1, 10, versus 9, 13. Let's go with that. Tier 3. Tier 3. I think the Tier 3 stuff's probably the way to go. Except for the boots, because they give good initiative. And we want these guys generally going fast. Um, we want improved movement three. Why? Right. So, oh, and we're gonna also edit out masterminds now. And do we want slow down, slow down, or slow down? Well, we want slow down or unsteady. What does unsteady do again? Uh, minus thirty attack on the target for two rounds, versus. Battle movement. I'm gonna go with the attack one. Um, and I think we're just gonna go tier three on these as well. I actually think we're gonna go for initiative with our guys here. Um, Okay, a meritocratic's coming next. So, uh, I can't buy out my army, but it shouldn't take seven turns to get everything together. Masterminds are so cheap, too. That I, I will buy out. Um. I don't actually think I can fight a six stack that's all Harmonites. It depends on where they're going, too. I think they want to make landfall and attack Wolfsburg is the thing. Oh, awesome. They'll give me artillery ship? Yeah, we'll do that. So artillery ships are the last one. At least five other fortresses. Oh, we did that. Yeah, so now we control this sea. The problem is I don't think we can get back. Why am I... Can I make Vors here? They've got three Vors just sitting there. Vor 3s. Did I accidentally move Vors down there? Did I accidentally move these boars down there? No, I moved them down there because I was planning on doing something with them, wasn't I? No, wait. I might have accidentally moved them. Because there should be boars up here. And there aren't. Weird. I might have misclicked and got those instead. Yeah, so we're going to send these guys over here and take these. I mean, really, this is the army I, or our navy I should be doing it with. So let's actually get these guys back up top. And we'll hit next turn. I didn't intend for this episode to keep going, but because we were declared war on, um, which pisses me the fuck off.
Can't refire my wine. Yeah, see, they're going to come and get Wolfsburg. Why are my Vors showing up here? Is it because I... What? Did I lose my ability to put down my... Launch point? They have it. It's, oh, it's a, that's like a glitch or something. Yep, here they come. Let's make a new army in the city. Because we're under siege. Where? Seriously, we're fighting now? God damn it. I lost a fort. It was probably some sort of insignificant fort up here. A fort I don't care about. I mean, we're actually... We don't have a bad army, is the thing. One, two, three, four. Or three, and a mastermind. I can't buy this army out, but... um. Okay. We can do this. Yeah, we want, um... Is there cavalry? Wait, we want them... They're cavalry and they move first. So we want them to actually... Like, deploy from these locations. Ready up. So now what we want to do is basically run and attack something. So we have Range Slayer on these, but I don't think we can actually get to the range. So we're going to go like this. And then um, I'm going to bloodlust those guys. Yeah, because we move. Why did they move there? Oh, they'll move there. Okay. We only deal 20 damage is the problem. The advantage is, though, we're not taking a lot of damage. I'm actually going to hack a tomb those guys, just in case. I want my militia to actually um, move there if they can and then attack. Because this is our advantage, is our militia is going to pour in and um, they pretty much have just Silix. Silix can hit in like a line, but we're going to line up this way. This is the problem, though. They have range, and we don't. <laughs> well, they do... Well, we have, you know, our masterminds, but we only have one. Ow. 
Do they have infantry slayer? No, it's just a crit, I think. Um, actually, that's pretty good for us, because we can surround them then. And these militia guys we want right there. Attacking those guys. Our hero, we're going to attack this. These guys are going to attack that. We're going to try to concentrate one of the silics down. Because if we can concentrate one of them down, it suddenly becomes, you know, a uh, three, four, five, six, seven, like what, eight v, eight v five, and we'll have our extra defenses. Eight v six. No, it'll be an eight v five. We can take this down. I actually want to move him here and then attack. No, wait. Yeah, move him here and then attack. I think he has like a wave attack. We'll move these guys here. They can get there. Perfect, actually. And we're gonna have this one dead next. That's a weird movement. I need just Hecatomb. That's fine. I'm fine with him doing a bit of a buff because he's a support. Okay. These militia guys are all gonna attack this Silic, and they're hopefully gonna be able to kill it. Um. These three are going to attack here, and then he's going to attack. Um, let's see if I can't get him to uh, move here, and then attack there. We might lose the, the boss right there. Our centaurs. Fine, because they're hecatombed right now. Or bloodlusted. Wait, they should be Hecatombed as well. And you can get the move, then attack command. No, I just want them to move over there, actually. Because these guys, these two are going to fill these slots, hopefully. Yeah. The move and attack is you left-click the open space, and then you hit the, you hold a uh, left control, and then left-click um, the thing you want to attack. So I'm going to have him hack a tomb, actually, this turn instead of attack. And pretty much everything's going to go through the way I want it. The only reason we're able to do this is because the AI got impatient and didn't siege us, and we had our fortifications. Our fortification bonus. The reason I'm moving them is because they're weaker right now. Battle's over. Yeah, so we actually did pretty well there. Yeah, I think I want my I want my arm my navies up here. Because if we're gonna be at war with these guys, I want to intercept their ships. My guys are at 16 and 700. They're at 12 and 347.
The advantage I have is I can just make another one of these armies really quick. And then if we can survive nine turns, we will actually be able to field an army. We lost a lot of our dust, though. We can't really buy an army right now. Um, let's get them out of here. I know you should really wait a turn. Because where my last one's going, anyways. So let's. Um. Yes. I'll do like this. Okay, so this guy, I want attacking him. Yeah, I want attacking him. This guy. We are gonna have him attack that, but. Um. We're gonna actually bloodlust and hecatomb him. Hopefully those will go off before he dies. He has a lot of health left. That's actually... 88, he'll survive, I mean, a couple attacks. Three or four. They have Flying Slayer, so they actually don't have point-blank power. So you're not going to hack a tomb. Hack a tomb. You are going to attack this. So, what I should really be doing is, like, moving there and then doing like that to try and get them to move and attack. I'll have him go there as well. These guys are going to launch an attack. Because they want to maximize their movement because they're cavalry. Oh, they're not doing it. Never mind. You can't move and then move back. Doesn't work like that, I guess. So if he dies, um, he'll he should explode and hit all three of these. <laughs> Wow! Nice hit. <laughs> oh my god, I love this faction so much! That was the best thing I've ever seen. I'm not even lying. Oh, we need another centaur. Also, fuck the wild walkers. They brought this on themselves. <laughs> oh, that was really funny. Now, why don't I have an anchor next to my goddamn city so I can put my stuff out here? Um. Yeah, it's a mystery because my vores they spawn down here in this spot. I don't know why they didn't spawn up here. Um, unfortunately, I have to spend money to buy this guy. So we're like what five turns and a. Are we almost a whole hour into this now? Because of the goddamn wild walkers. Yeah, in two turns, I'm going to make an eight or a six stack and probably go fight them. Show them the error of their ways. I said to, like, keep some forces in these oceans because I don't want, um... I want to kill their boarding ships or their, their like, attack parties with boats. And actually, we could probably get to... We're going to do um, another Centaur and another Mastermind. Because that'll be our forces then. Now for research, we're going to have Meritocratic done. What are my third tier things? We already got artillery ships. Um, don't need reaping stations. Don't need... I don't... Well, I mean, I think we do need those. 
Bathospheres, I don't know if I necessarily need them. I like the idea of public works. But I think before any of this, I actually want another minor faction. This is going to sound funny, but um, because we can get these Gaurans in here, we get more life. More life for our boarding ships means they would be really, really powerful. Um, but also our units could use more life because, I mean, they'll just live longer and fight more. So we'll pick that up. And then um, we're doing a whole lot of influencing and dust stuff. So I'll probably pick these two up. Um, I don't feel the need to pick up the stockpile tech just yet. Nor do I feel the need to pick up the science tech. Uh, we might want to get... Um, where is it? This one. I actually think we should get um, agricultural science at some point. And possibly imperial coinage. Oh, imperial coinage. We definitely want to actually work in there. Um, I mean, maybe. We'll take it off for now. Cause, yeah, we don't have access to the markets, but we have these things that are just producing us tons and tons of resources. Interestingly enough, I think heroes should be on our list as well. Let me just see if we get any, if there are any good ones floating around. Um, yeah, we could get this guy. A naval leader or put him in another city um, this fortification or it's a fast learner one influence boost two isn't bad yeah the these guys our faction guys are city generals city governors um, I'm not seeing anything that's really grabbing my my eye except this guy. And I don't mind buying him right now. Um, I'm not going to gear him out just yet. We're going to... Oh, he doesn't have skill points. He's level 1. So we are going to put him in this city. I'll be buying other heroes as well. Oh, also I also have to do one thing, I think, real quick. Yeah, we got to do this. Um... I'm inclined to just give him slow down for now. And just tier 3 gear. And then, um... Quest item. No, where? What is Ghost Force? Entire army will become invisible on any tile. Okay, that's cool. Not for us, though. What we want is we want the... Science and Dust. Um, on city. And actually here. This guy will very quickly just slap those two on him. Got the spare titanium for it. We can do that. And I should really, really, really end this video now. But here's the plan. I have a four stack sitting here as my protectorate. They have two and two as these two cities. What I'm planning on doing is I'm going to get my navy up here. This guy and this guy are both going to be up here soon. If I see any ships coming over, I'll try to attack them and kill them on the open seas. But what I want to do... What I want to do next is... Um, get a six stack. Come up here and take this place. Then move my sick, keep this place, then come up here and take this place. And I will show the Wild Walkers why they made a mistake in coming after me. In my cities, Wolfsburg is just going to produce army after army after army after army. Momir Vig here, after Glory and Empire Mint are done, they're going to produce a couple navies. And we're going to actually send, send these navies to take these places. I don't think the Roving Clans have sea ships, or I think they maybe would have been doing it. Actually, let's just get these guys out here now. 
Um, I don't care that I lose the quests down here. I want just these things just to have them, have their resources coming into me. And we'll try to pick that up too. Um, Kraj, after this stuff is done for it, that's really cheap now. Um, I might slip Iceworks into it so it can get a big industry boost in the winter. And we will be producing newer, better things. Also, we have to edit this real quick. This is important, actually. The artillery ships are long-ranged. Very long-ranged. Um, vessels. Let's see what they give us. What's precision to? Plus one attack range. That's pretty awesome, actually. And we're going to give it a... Uh, we want initiative on these guys. I can already tell you. Because you want these things attacking first. And then for the prow, I'm inclined just to give it a normal one. And then... Um, see, the thing is, I'll give them improved vision. And then... I think I'll give them the, uh, guard? No. I think I'm actually going to design two of these things. I'll give them that just for the lack of any other thing to go in that slot presently. So, artillery ships, you know what? While we're down here, I'll load two of them up here. And they'll join in with this group to do their actions. And then what I'll do up here is after I get my... After I get a six stack going, it should be like that. It'll be able to produce these two. Um, we'll produce these two in the next two turns. That'll be our si our first six stack. Our second six stack is going to be another centaur and another uh, mastermind. And that'll be the six stack I keep around home. And then the next thing I'm going to do is probably like another six stack for the actual navy. We're only doing four stacks right now. And it's going to be something like four Vors and two Leviathans. And then um, a 2-2-2 two, two, two for um, boarding parties or boarding vessels, fire ships, artillery ships. Because boarding vessels could run up and pin things down while the artillery ships ping them. Actually, I might even drop fire ships. They're really powerful, but I think the tactic would be that. Lots of boarding vessels mixed with... Um, Oh, I've almost got the 2k influence. Lots of boarding vessels is what I want. Mixed with lots of, um, with the artillery ships. So we'll have a lot of health on those as well. And maybe we'll do, like, boarding vessels and fire ships, or fire ships and artillery ships. We'll do mixes of them. We'll have a lot of fun navies. Oh, yeah, these guys. I need to get to that. No, I just need to explore the ruins in this location. Forgot about that entirely. Probably those ruins. There might be another ruin around here. We'll see. And then we'll get our faction quest underway. So, that's going to summarize everything that I'm probably going to forget tomorrow because I'm stopping for tonight. So, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have been enjoying this series. And I will see you guys next time for more Endless Legend Tempest.